All right, guys, we're going to work on moaning, and we're going to go through all the saxophone parts. So far, what I've noticed from your videos that you submitted was that uh, we got to really focus on accuracy of the uh, articulations, getting them really clear, uh, and making sure that we play in a uniform way, okay? Big part of playing in a, in a jazz band in any section is making sure that everybody understands exactly how to play basically every note in terms of the... Uh, the articulation, okay? So we're gonna take a, a couple, uh, just one phrase at a time, and I want you to listen to me. I want you to try to replicate everything that I'm doing. You should be listening to these, these sectional videos um, as basically like a rehearsal. And I would say for each week, maybe you listen through each video uh, two or three times and just practice along like we're having a rehearsal and see how much you can copy based on my, uh, the style, the sound, making sure your notes and rhythms are right. And I would also make sure you have a tuner out so that you can um, uh, be really careful that we're all playing in tune. As we record these songs, uh, everything's gonna matter. So if you're out of tune, if you're not articulating right, not good. If, uh, if your sound isn't good or if your rhythms are off. So we're gonna try to fix all that stuff so that our recordings can come out really, really good. When you record, it, you have to be super, super hyper aware of all of those elements, okay? So let's, play, let's have some fun just playing together. And again, play this video several times throughout each week um, and just play along with me, okay? That's the idea, okay? So we're gonna start on moaning and we're gonna start right before measure, uh, not, uh, start at measure nine, okay? So I'll play it first, two, three, four. And I always want you to listen to how I play it, and then we're going to play together, okay? Listen and then play. Here we go. One, two, nine, and ten. And I cut off right on beat one of the next measure. Let's try it again. Notice that I go, yup, but it's nice and short, okay? Try to copy my exact lengths. Notice also which notes I tend to ghost. That last eighth note of that measure, I ghosted that note, played it less loud, right? You can play it louder than that, but that's that's a note that's going to be a little softer. Let's try it together. Here we go. Nine and ten. One, two, three, four. And I'm at. Let's add a little bit of a forte piano on that last note. Try it again. Two. Here we go. Okay, let's do that. We're going to add something to the music there, okay? Now, the next rhythm is a little bit tricky. Try to get that one exact. That's the hardest rhythm in the whole piece, I think, because it's actually written a little different than the original recording. Let's try it a couple times. Two, three, four. Notice your fourth, fifth, uh, fourth note. I'm playing short. Okay, let's try it together. One, two, perfect, and okay. Next, let's just do that. Bop, ba, da, and try to get the grace note. Actually, let's play the grace note first. Now let's put it together. One, two, three, four. Again, two, three, four. Now the next part. Let's just work on that. Here we go, and. I'll give you three beats. One, two, three. Let's try again. One, two. Listen again. No, so ta ta. It's got a staccato on it, right? Ba ba da da ba da ba. Play the whole phrase. That's measure thirteen. One, two, you and me. Next measure. Now let's do that little forte piano thing, okay? Ta let's go back to nine and see if we can play the whole thing perfectly. One, two, nine, and. Let's 
So in, in measure 10, ta, I didn't do the forte piano. We're going to try one more time with that in there, okay? So we're basically doing a little forte piano in measure 10 and measure 16. Here we go. Try to be perfect. And by the way, you're going to have different notes than me. I'll, well, I'm looking at the score. Our rhythms are the same, but you may have different notes, okay? Here we go. One, two, here we go. You know what? I think we should do a little forte piano in every single one of those long notes. So let's change that. Da ba da 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 ba ba da da ba da ba da da. Just a little bit of one. I'm exaggerating a touch. You don't even have to do it quite that much, okay? Hey, I want to try it one last time. Here we go. Nine, one, two, practicing. <laughs> Now, you're going to go to background because the trumpets have the melody. That doesn't mean you play a lot softer, but a little bit softer. Still play with a solid sound. So here's the pickups to 18. Listen first. Don't play. And one. Da, 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 da. That's what the tenors have right there, okay? So when we get to that bar, I'm going to play the tenor part. I'm transposing, but it's okay. Okay, I'll play that when we get there. Here's here's measure pickups to measure 18. Ready and a one. That's the idea, okay? All right. Add a little sticky key here. Okay. I want to do it again. And by the way, actually with tenors, when you guys get to measure 20, try to accent and then get out of the way. Try that once on your own. That's just the tenors in measure 20, okay? That's a big part for you two, okay? Or three. Here we go. Uh, pick up to 18. One, two, here we go. And one. four notes ta -da -do -ta. notice how i got out of the way i'm always trying to find out which notes should i tongue and which which the other notes would be less loud ta -ta -do -ta. i'm going ta 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 i'm really ghosting the third note try it with me ready one in fact let's start softer one again one Okay, and if you're a tenor two or Barry, you're really important there, okay? Especially Trista. Ba -ba -da -da. Let's go back, pickups to 18. Here we go. And ready, and one. I played the wrong notes, but you get the idea, okay? Now, remember, you're behind the trumpets there, but you're basically playing what we call pads. Pads are the chords represented by your whole section, okay? Pad, pad. You still want to play with a rich sound and a full sound, but maybe not loud because you're supporting them, okay? All right. Sound quality matters, folks. When you're practicing, you should be always striving for a better sound. Even when I'm playing right now, I'm thinking, man, what could I do better on with my sound, okay? Here's uh, 25. Same idea. We're just going to play it, okay? Focus on your details. 25. One, two, three, and. Yeah. 
Okay, making sense? Be careful and be amazing at getting those articulations right, folks. Now, you guys don't actually play at 34. You've got just a, there's a solo section, and we're going to see who knows their stuff. That's the same uh, scale as on Watermelon Man. So I'd like you to be practicing for being able to play a solo on that. Um, but basically, it's the Concert F Blues, okay? Uh, let's go two before uh, two before fifty. Check it out. Short, long, short, 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 long, short, short. Let's get those articulations and start softer. One, two, short, and. Let's do it again. Focus your tone. Make sure you're in tune and your tone is good. One, two, ready, full sound. Okay, precision. Next one. Here's fifty. Ba da 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 da. Here we go. And I get out of the way because there's obviously the whole note's not the melody. Okay, so the trumpet and tenor one, you guys, um, actually that's still solo section. So we're just playing backgrounds for the soloist. 50, a one, two, tongue, and. One and, 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 they're all in the upbeats. Here's, here's bar 53, and, and, and. And a one, and a two, and a three. One, two, here we go. Okay, making sense? Let's go back to 50. One, two, sax is in. And then you keep playing the same kind of idea, it ends a little differently. Let's keep going. This is measure 54. The next measure, one, two, here we go. Sorry, my bad, I'm turning pages. One, two, here we go. Let's analyze those rhythms. This is measure 56. See if you can figure out what beats those notes are, are on. What's, what beat is the first note on? And of one. What beat are the second and third notes on? Figure it out. That would be right on beat three and an and. So one and, three and. Play those first three notes. One, two, here we go. One and, three and, and then what would the next note be on? That would be on your, your and of four, right? One and, three and, and. Let's learn how to read rhythms while we're learning this piece, okay? Let's play it together. One, two, two before. Notice I went do ta. That's just a really the most common articulation in jazz is long, short. Play the play it fifty eight. Just those two notes. Do ta. Notice how I blow through the notes. Whenever you have repeated notes in jazz, I didn't stop blowing the whole time. I just used my tongue to interject some of the, the uh, blowing, but basically, or to interrupt some of the blowing, but I'm basically blowing the whole time. I paused in between those couple last little phrases, but when there's, when there's a stream of eighth notes, you keep blowing and then you use your tongue to make different articulations. Here's two before 58, don't play. Two before 58. Me only, here we go. Make sense? This has gotta be really clean for us to sound good on the recording, okay? Two before 58, one, two, you and me. Great. I like the rhythms that we're having to calculate in here, so don't be afraid to stop and make sure you know how to count it and play it, okay? All right, 
Uh, you can go back and review all of that. I'm going to go on for now so we can we can get through the rest of the piece. But what I would say is every day, go back and play through what we just did and make sure you're you're on your mark on your game there. OK, uh, here is 66. Now, let's take the pickups into 66. So that'd be 65. Can we try that? But a bit of a da 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 one, two, three, four. Tongue, tongue. So I kind of ghost the last eighth note of the measure. I'm tonguing the first note. Ta slur, slur, tongue, tongue, tongue. I'm tonguing one, two, three, four notes in the phrase. Doesn't say to do that, but that's how jazz works. We kind of invent our own freight uh, tonguing and and um, slurring. Let's try it together. One, two, even and. Okay. Let's try 67 now. Actually, you know what? Let's do that one more time. 65, one more time. One, two, three, four. If you have to write in articulations, do it, okay? Here's 67. Together, ready, and. Let's try it again. Ready, and. Again, and. Now, that's on the last triplet of that beat of that measure. So you're gonna, but you're gonna have to come in on the and of two for the next measure. But a bit up, but no one. I always feel one, even though I'm t I'm slurring into it or tying into it. Ta da 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 one two ba. I'm always feeling that strong one, so I can calculate the and of two coming up. Ta da 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 ta ta. And you're on the last part of that that measure plus and of two plus and of four. Let's try it together. One, two, here we go. Let's practice that again. This is 67, 68. One, two, here we go. You notice how I get out of the way on those long notes? And I kind of almost always doing a little bit of a forte piano. So when in doubt, Try to hit those long notes, get out of the way, and, and crescendo a little bit into the next one and pull it back, okay? Let's go, let's go back to 65 and try to put it together. Here's 65. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now I've got a page turn there, so I'm gonna have to memorize that. That's okay. Uh okay. Let's go on to that next measure and let's just learn that. We're going to start at measure 69. That's where you have a capped accent on a second beat quarter note. Two, three, and triple it, right? So, and you, you rest on the tri, pull it. Try it together, ready, and. First note's tat. Ready, here we go, and one. I'm tonguing them both. Why don't we tongue them? Ta-ta-ta. Try the whole thing again. We're here, 69, second beat. Ready, and. Okay, let's try it again. Here we go, same thing, 69, ready, and. That's actually probably the hardest little spot in the whole piece. So let's go over that a bunch of times. Let's just try 69 only. 69 only, starting on beat two. Ready, and. Okay, now, if we let's start right at 70. Ta, ta, da, da. 
here we go, ready, and. Try it again, 70, one, two, tongue. Okay, now we tie into 71 and we have to play on beat two. So listen, I'm gonna start at 70, don't play. Let's try that, 70 and 71. One, two, ready. Try it again. One, two, seventy. Now, if you send me your recordings and they're not accurate, I'm going to ask you to redo them. Okay. All of your, when you're on a recording session, everything you play has to be accurate. Obviously, the composer wrote the music. You can't play the music wrong and then that's going to be the recording. No. So, Take your time, make sure that before you even try to record anything, and I wouldn't record yet, I'll let you know when I want you to do that. Your job is to make sure this is perfecto, okay? Let's go back to 70. Let's just sing through it, don't play. Sing through 70, ready? Ta, ta, to, ta, 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 ta. Now, I could have sang closer to the right pitches, but part of what I'm trying to show you is, when you sing, you don't always have, I mean, it's nice if you, put, you sing the right pitches, but it's most more important that you sing the right articulations and the right rhythms. That's kind of what we're doing, okay? So, uh, let's do this. Let's go back to, let's actually sing through 66. I'm sorry, 65. Let's try to sing through that whole section. Here we go, 65, sing. One, two, articulate. ta di ta da da ta ta and there's a couple of, there's a couple of articulations I sort of did I want you to write these in can you go to 67 and write in uh, an accent on the first note of 67 and the third note. Ta, ta, da, da, da. I think that'll sound bluesier. I think that would be a good choice, okay? So let's do that. Everybody's got to add an, two, artic, two accents there. First and third note of 67. That means the other ones are around it are ghosted. Here we go. Uh, pick up to, let's start at 65. I'll try to turn my page and be on top of it, okay? Here we go, 65. A one, two, three, four. Okay, and then basically we're going to go back to 66 and we play it a second time okay I want to try one more time to just practice okay and I would recommend rewinding this part of the video and practicing with this whole section a few times okay it's got to be perfect otherwise I'm gonna send it back and you're gonna fix it so let's get it right the first try okay here's 65 one two sixty five I crescendoed in the second thing, do, 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 and I really should have played the second note in, in the second inning short. Do, ta, do, 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 do. Let's add that, okay? We're going to follow that. Ta, do, do, ta, ta. Play the second ending, but skip the first note. So start on the capped accent, the short note. Here we go. Ready, and one. Circle that note. Okay. Then, tot, tot, and we go back. <clears throat> we go back to 
you're going to find it before I do, probably. All right. We go back to 18, right? <clears throat> and we play through 18. And we take the coda out. Okay? So, you're going to play along with the play along and get to practice this with the actual recording too that I've kind of put together for you. So, we don't need to go back and practice 18, but you're going to go and repeat that section. Let's go over the ending, okay? Let's go over the coda. Try it together, okay? That's 76. Here we go, right at the coda. Ready and one. Oh, sorry, then we play a whole note. Okay, and so for the very ending, you're going to hear on the final recording, I'm going to find some way to do that so it's really clear. So basically, three from the end, uh, the tenors play, everybody plays pa, forte piano. Can we play that note? Three from the end on the end of four. Ready? And then you crescendo into the second measure. And then we're going to, so you're going to have to hear the clicks on the background. You're going to hear the piano actually go, And then we go, ta-da, play, play two from the end. Some of you altos, you have a first alto, you have just a whole note. But second alto and tenor, you go, ta-da. You're the most important people in the band right there. And I wouldn't come down until after the second note. Okay? And so basically what we're going to do that on the final recording is you're going to hear the clicks for the measures. The piano is also going to play, but you're going to hear three from the end. Watch four, actually watch four from the end. Don't play, let me show you how it's going to go. Ready? Three. And rather than a fermata, because we're recording uh, virtually, I'm going to actually put a four beat click in there at the end. Play with me and listen to my clicks. Let's let's try four. Uh, let's do this. Let's go back and let's do this. Let's try the coda one time all the way to the end. And when you, well, listen for the clicks at the end, it's going to slow down dramatically at the end. Okay. Here's the coda. A one, two, three, four, one. <laughs> right on one okay um second alto i'm sorry yeah, sec, uh first altos and second tenor and barry two from the end when you guys have that forte piano even if you were holding a note before re-tongue it and disappear again okay guys you're gonna um live with this recording i would say every day take your horn out play along with this try to perfect this you should sound like a pro on this piece okay if we can record this one really well then we will do a new piece and maybe something a little bit more challenging even, but we want to focus on quality. If we can get the quality really happening on this, tonguing, tuning, sound quality, uh, make sure your rhythms are right, make sure the notes are right, and make sure the rhythmic feel is, is right. I tried to give you an example of exactly what I want you to do on this recording, so try to emulate it exactly. Don't go for close or pretty good. This has to be really exceptional, okay? So work at it. Make sure you're playing on good reads. Make sure you have a tuner out. Okay, guys? Uh, good luck, and I can't wait to see if we can put this thing together. All right.